warm. It's so warm. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> What a beautiful place to wake up here on a lovely weekend morning. So we got a special guest here today. If you can believe it, my mother has a Malaysian pen pal for the past three years. So back in 2020, uh, Ivana and I were stranded in Malaysia and we were so kindly helped out by many different Malaysian people, including our friends Crystal and Kuniao, where we actually stayed at their place for like a week. And so during that time, Crystal and my mother became pen pals or in the modern world more like text pals so she's from Kelantan and here we are in Terengganu so my mother and her three years text pal have finally met and we can use this moment to say thank you Crystal and Kunya hey, for so us nice. staying with you and so nice to see you meet my mom yes. wow what a moment so glad to see them. amazing so to amazing see <laughs> yes after three years, after three years. Three years. It's like a family reunion here yes. at Terrapuri. Yeah, such an honor and privilege to have. Ah, you. the best. You guys are the best. So today we'll be doing some uh, traditional arts and crafts, as well as I hope by the end of the video some flying gasing, which is one of my favorite things here in uh, Terengganu. So let's uh, let's do it. <laughs> Yeah, you bravo, can come out. bravo, bravo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so something for everybody down here under the roof on the beach. We've obviously got some lovely music behind me with some traditional instruments and some very talented youngsters. Not to mention, we've got a guy chipping away at a piece of brass with a hammer and a flattened nail. Looks like really intricate and really time consuming and really skillful work and quite, uh, quite beautiful, all the different patterns. As well as some ladies behind me here doing some traditional weaving. And again, very time consuming and a job that requires lots of patience. And uh, all the tourists are out, my mother, my mother's friends, my dad, we're all out enjoying local Malaysian culture. What could be better than this? This is a really good experience for tourists. I'm sure my mom and dad and Crystal and Kunyao will really enjoy this because it's a highly memorable place to be. Oh, and actually there's a guy here who is hand making a fishing net, which really looks like a time consuming job. And I guess he's a multi-talented guy because he was the one playing music earlier. And what's great is he has so kindly invited me to try and throw the fishing net to try and catch some fish here in the ocean. If you guys have been following our channel, uh, this is a bit of redemption for me. A couple of days ago, I was trying to throw the net in Taman Nagara and I caught exactly zero fish on like 30 throws. So let's see if I can even catch one today. Okay, here we go. Come on, Steve, you must catch a fish for us to... Throw in the sand. Come on, throw in the sand or throw in the water? Uh, I did. Sand. Just practice. Yeah, practice. Okay, practice. Woo! Look at the spread. Okay. Look at the spread. Good. Good. <laughs> Look at this. Good. So we're not throwing in the water, we're just practicing. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that was a good first row. Yeah, it was. This looks complicated. It's a more advanced technique yeah. than before. Ah, more I think, advanced. I think I've leveled up my, my technique. I think the net is longer too, or bigger. Yeah, the net's bigger. Okay. In the water. Okay, water. water? Oh. We're going to the water, everybody. Let's catch some fish. Yeah. This is the one, Ivana. This is the one. This is the one? Let's go. Oh, pretty good, Steve. It's not bad. Pretty good. <laughs> I'm soaked on my skirt. <laughs> By the way, the beach is so beautiful here. It's amazing. Oh, wow. I love it. The sun is very strong. Woohoo! <laughs> One more try, Steve. Nice. No fish. Pretty good. Ooh, that was not bad. Very good. Oh, 
Oh, he's doing something wrong. Maybe. No. Oh. Come on, Steve. <laughs> Woo! That was good. 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 Okay. <laughs> good job, Steve. By the way, it's amazing that there is no one else here except us. It's very tranquil, very peaceful, very quiet. Love it. This is why we love Terengganu so much. I love it. Beautiful beach. <laughs> no fish for Steve. It's all right. Steve, you did good. Yeah, he's a good. There's no Steve. fish in Terengganu. <laughs> If there were fish there, I would have got him. My throat was good. Okay? okay. My throat was okay. Good. Good. <laughs> he said you did good. Do you see? Yeah. The throat is spreading. My, my yes, throat yes. is spreading out far. You're better. I'm tired. Nice. <laughs> Plus. I'm sure it's all wet. So wet. Yeah. You will get dry okay, soon. Okay, yeah, my guess, yeah. <laughs> to anyone watching this video who has ever caught a fish with a thrown net, I salute you. <laughs> I've thrown probably 40 or 45 times in my life. Great. Zero fish so far. <laughs> I caught a rock one time. I almost broke the net. That's the best I did. <laughs> Is there a technique, Steve? Really? From that side? I'm gonna make a flat bottom so it's too open. lesson on how to open coconut properly. You got it? No ma, you got some more. Cut some more. You don't want to eat. Okay, some of the, the juice is on the ground, but oh. it, it did work. Okay, okay taste it, taste it. There you go. First coconut. Okay, let's see. Trying coconut, fresh one. Coconut water. Oh, it's very good. Good. Yummy. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Refresh. It doesn't have a strong taste, though. Ah, it does. not. It's not. Doesn't have a strong taste. But it's coconut. To me, but you can taste. Doesn't. Yeah, it's refreshing. It's good for the heat. Very, it's very refreshing. Very hydrating. And also good okay, when. You have stomach problems. Oh yeah? Mm. Okay, I'm big, I'm big, I'm big. I'm big, I'm big, I'm big. I'm big, I'm big, I'm big. I'm big, I'm big. It's a bit old, but it's still good, maybe. Ah, it's still okay. Still okay? Yeah, it's still okay. Still okay. Okay, I'm Okay, we'll sit down. Yeah, we'll sit down. Yeah, we'll sit down. Good or not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like jelly. Mm -hmm. huh? it's like jelly oh, refreshing, uh, uh, right? Good, right? Okay, yeah, mm. Mm. It is refreshing. Mm. Yeah. Good. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> it's very good. Careful, uh, it's very full. Oh, yeah, free sour. <laughs> Try this one, some not, not too sour, maybe it's Mom, try, 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 it's good. Maybe hers is not so sour. I like sour, don't worry. Okay, you can take it. Can't eat. Time. Are you nervous or excited, Mom? <laughs> or both? Or both? I hope it's sweet. It tastes like it's full of vitamin C. <laughs> sour. sour! Oh, oh no! Change another one. Change another one. Wait, wait. It's actually... Better. Now, some people like sour, though. Yeah. Like sour. No, there's some... There, I did it's good for you. This, uh, oh, Steve is <laughs> having a second <laughs> one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Oh, kind of that's right. interesting. Maybe that's true. Kind of yeah. Similar yeah. Maybe. Similar to oh, grapefruit. It's grapefruit I can yes. Taste a bit too. You're right. Similar yeah. to grapefruit. Do you know what grapefruit mm -hmm. is? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tastes like grapefruit. That's right. Grapefruit is sweet. The fragrance. Yeah. Grapefruit is almost grapefruit. Yeah, yeah. The fragrance. That's right. 
Crystal also brought some moon cake. I see. Mm. Mm. All right, yes. moon cake. First time trying. Take one piece first. It's too. I take one piece. Is first. that one piece? Oh, no, sorry, oh, yeah. I got two. This is a very sorry, sweet. Sorry. It's very sweet. Look at the inside. You right? never know it oh, would It is also pandan flavor, pandan so it flavor. tastes a little bit like the coconut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And pandan oh, usually is green. Here. I don't know how it tastes like. <laughs> this is mooncake. Chinese mooncake. Sweet, right? It's very mild. Oh. Very mild. Not too sweet. It doesn't have a strong taste, no? Ah. Different, oh, okay. different flavors. This is a pandan, and then this would be the red, uh, it's red good. bean. Good. Try different one. Mm. Texture, okay. texture, okay? Yeah. It's good. Red bean, Steve. Chocolate. Your favorite. I think it's chocolate. <laughs> it's red beans. <laughs> red bean is not chocolate. Not chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Which one, pandan or red bean? Both, same. Pandan. 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 Uh, this one. is not strong enough. Neither one. This, this one got the eggs in Thank the middle. Thank you. Don't be shy, Mom. Go ahead. Red bean. Mooncake. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> She's looking at me like... <laughs> Funny. Not sure. You're right. Not sure. <laughs> not sure. <laughs> but you like the pandan one. It doesn't oh. taste like red beans. Or... What did you say it tastes like? Well, I'm not really sure. To be honest, every time I've tried mooncake, I could never guess what the flavor is. They always tell me, and I never taste the same thing. They're very mysterious flavors, mooncakes. I agree. It's mysterious flavor. If if you didn't know that was red bean, you could never guess it. That's what this is. Hundred percent. Red. That's made out of red beans. Oh really? It's written here. Yeah, mooncake is a very mysterious fruit. I could never guess the flavor. Sometimes I can. Only once a year. Once a year. Yeah. Okay. Um, this. Ah yeah, we did it for so Mooncake I'm Festival. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is it called? Uh, Mid yeah. Midsummer. Mid Autumn. Mid Autumn. Mid Autumn. Mid -autumn. Yes. Mid -autumn. Yeah. yeah. Like Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Thanksgiving. Is it, is it pumpkin? No. You probably have a pumpkin mooncake. Yeah, yeah. yeah you probably have pumpkin. Pumpkin mooncake. Mom is still confused. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> no, I like this one better than the other one. Actually. Really? Okay. What does it taste like? It's mm. impossible to well, say. It's impossible to say. I agree. <laughs> Still confused, but you keep eating it. I so keep eating it. <laughs> trying to figure it out. <laughs> All right. It almost looks like fudge. Ah, you're it's right. It's chocolate, but it's not. It doesn't you're right, taste you're like right. All right, we've got a bunch of friends here all joking around and some really good looking food as per usual at Terrapuri. And we've got something new that most people have never seen. Mm. This dish has a skin of a fruit in it, which looks a lot like dukong. Evidently it's not dukong, but for my eyes, it's the same. And uh, something new for us. Interesting. I'll be honest. But no. Five stars. Yeah. Good, right? I think so. mm -hmm. good. Not to mention we've got ayam brempa here, which has got to be one of my favorite Malaysian foods. And I guess this is balimbing, which I'm discovering that I really enjoy. I don't really know what balimbing is. Your favorite? It's good, right? Sour. Mm -hmm. It's like a sour veggie salad. I don't know what to call it. It's also in the ikan singgang. Ah, balimbing. Mm -hmm. Sour and delicious, Sour. right? I like it. Nice. Anyway, guys, lunch is over. Don't sleep on balimbing. So good. Oh my god, one of the my best, favorite. Yes. One of the top things. Birdhouses. Birdhouses. Yeah. Now, balimbing, like I said, one of the top foods. I don't know what it is right now. It's so good. It's sour and it's great on food. Amazing. With that being said, we're on a road trip now that is uh, going somewhere. I think it's boat building. I think so. My parents, by the way, look at, them, look at the back seat. You know, we do all this work, we bring them to Malaysia, try to take them around, they go make friends and say, Pfft, and they go, go with their friend's car. <laughs> no kids allowed in the truck in front of us. <laughs> Jeez, this is the thanks I get, eh? Wow. <laughs> this yeah, is... Uh... And the letter uh, I was found in photo. <laughs> you should have something to do. You cannot stay at home, do nothing. If you do that, 
maybe no no more longer you can be done ah. because you have nothing to do you mentioned it's not watching now huh? not working so you <laughs> see it down, down down <laughs> down and then maybe you die ah so it that's the secret of long life oh ah, yeah to be active oh ah, yeah yes. yeah you're right <laughs> you we we must pause ourselves yes don't sit down do nothing this is very bad behavior right huh? right right ah. Good so advice. that's why every day matter. So every day uh -huh. I go to the beach two kilometer wow. every morning. Yeah, I do you. that <laughs> because I ex army. You know, I was ex army. Uh, ex army. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Military, yeah. military, military. Yes, yes. <laughs> matter. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. Sign the guest. Sign the guest. Oh, wow. wow. No. Pachi, no. you're you're very no. energetic. No. <laughs> You got energy. Pardon? You have a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very energetic. Oh, me! Me! Oh! <laughs> Look at that. Okay, yeah. One day I hope to come back and meet you again. I hope so. Hope so. <laughs> but I hope then it's so. not possible, you know, because it depends on your heart. If you had to, you want to do that, of course you can do it. Absolutely. Depends on you. So we are back at Rumah Botol where the Pacek collects bottles from the beach. And sometimes he would find bottles with messages inside the bottle. So he received this, but we have no idea what that means. So maybe we will google translate it or if anyone can translate for us let us know in a comment very interesting interesting guy he's so energetic he's 80 and he has energy wow amazing look at this look at his house amazing amazing i tell you what and i mean this with full sincerity Ruma Botol and the uncle who found all those bottles they really never get old because we've seen that before to be clear but it's so memorable and his energy it's like he's uh fresh not tired and really enthusiastic and uh i think both my parents really enjoyed that place but now for our second stop here we are at a ship building with traditional style and traditional materials sort of workshop so let's poke around here and see what we can find and uh, all natural, obviously. Yeah. It comes like this from nature, and then it goes in between the boards and will uh, seal watertight. And they use Chicago. Very clever. So the idea is they're using traditional materials, including wood, as well as the glue in between each boards and sealant, so that that brown thing over there will eventually turn into something like this. Now my assumption is this is for squid fishing and squid jigging, but I will ask to make sure of that. And you can see, I mean, what a big change. What a huge job these guys are capable of doing to make something like this uh, pretty special. This is half a million Malaysian ringgit. Half a million yeah, Malaysian ringgit. For fishing. Wow. And it's for squid or for fish? For fishing. Fishing. Okay, okay. okay. So, Dad, you ever work on an engine that big? That's pretty big. What's the horsepower on that? Give me a guess. It wouldn't have a ton of horsepower. It have a ton of torque. Oh, horsepower, not torque. So it's probably... Like low end torque rather than high 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 speed. Oh yeah, yeah, that thing wouldn't rev past like three grand at all. Wow. No matter how much weight you put on board, it wouldn't slow it down. Uh huh. Would there be stupid question? Would there be a transmission on a boat? Or you got one gear? Well, I, it's probably direct drive. Direct drive. Yeah, to a prop. For those that don't know, my dad is a master mechanic. Although only cars and never boats, so he's sort of guessing, but still very knowledgeable. You can see where the old drive is if you go over far enough. Oh yeah, that's like okay. Yeah. So that's pretty big. I don't know if they power other things off that or not. Quite often they'll take spinning motion off that to power something else. Uh huh. Kind of interesting, right? So this you're saying is drive shaft right here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And this is something which could be a transmission or just could be generating electricity, like a, like a gigantic alternator. Well, if you do that, it wouldn't be quite that big, yeah. Okay. Sure. Wow, cool place to hang out. <laughs> and so I guess on the underside of the boat, it's all traditional stuff with the sealant we saw, but up here they got some fiberglass. Uh, so some more modern technology. So I'm up on top of the boat now. And I'm wondering what's up here. It's like a little storage place. And I guess there's a steering wheel over there. Maybe I go check it out further. I don't know if this is sleeping quarters and you crawl in. Maybe not. Let's go check the steering wheel. Tell you what, the captain's seat is pretty simple right now. 
I think it'll be souped up with all types of electronics and stuff and depth finders and stuff. But right now, sit in here and look out the front window. Feel like a captain. <laughs> Honestly, this was fun. <laughs> Tell you what, five star boat exploring experience. That was fun. All right, so from Terra Pori, we have come to Mr. Alex's second project, which still features the traditional Malay houses. Although, as you can see, these ones are a little bit bigger. They're more like palaces. And this place has a unique twist, which is each one of the houses comes from a different state here in Malaysia. So as you can see, some of them are still under construction, but there is one ready for us to tour. And it's pretty special because it's actually got two floors and it's huge and it's really a uh, mastery of restoration project. So this one is obviously Negri Simbalan. And we come up the steps and you can see my parents and my parents' friends all hanging out in something that looks almost exactly like it would 150 years ago, except with electricity and modern lighting and air conditioning and perfect bathroom. And so pretty incredible place to stay uh, for Mr. Alex's second project. Tell you what it's a great thing that alex is restoring these houses as you see ivana pop out of the window because from what i understand there's nobody else in the world uh keeping the traditions alive of this construction method and restoring it so well it's sort of a unique part of malaysia oh yeah is this malay house so it's I nice that it. they're restored and accessible for accommodation yeah. kind of uh kind of iconic the perfectly restored house on stilts looks like a million bucks so with all that being said, I think it's time to go back to Tarapuri, maybe cool off. Only gonna say this once for video, it's hot out here, but we will be doing some guessing or at least watching some guessing. So let's go. Monkeys everywhere on the high wire, Imana. Yeah. See the one up there? Oh, it's so cool. Oh, look, they're looking at us. Oh my goodness, giving us hi. Eyeballs. Hello. Uh oh, a lot of monkeys. Oh, oh the dumpster, that's why. Oh. Oh, baby monkey, baby monkey, another, another one for you. Oh my goodness. Hi. Cool, all right? <laughs> okay, monkey, monkey. <laughs> oh. All right, it's been a long day full of interesting things and some friendship between my mom and her friend. But here we are at some traditional game called Gissing. Which is where these guys spin the big tops and see who can spin the longest. There's also some little kids over there practicing uh, with some smaller tops. But the idea here is you're gonna chuck it and pull the rope back. Then he catches it, which is pretty impressive. And then he's gonna transfer it to a little stick. And then we're gonna see how long it'll spin. It could be up to like an hour, I think, or 45 minutes would be a good spin. So very traditional game. Uh, it's a mystery to me how it started. Very unique game never seen anything like this in the whole world and i think there's not many guys still doing it so this is a pretty good treat for us to see a uh traditional game oh look at this hold it mom just hold it for now see how heavy it is heavy heavy yeah heavy heavy yeah, yeah. straight 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 ah. four kilo four kilos four kilo. oh. so that's pretty heavy i mean you can imagine oh. a four kilo heavy plate heavy? at the gym they're chucking it through the air. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> He's not trying to move it, but. <laughs> mom, 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 mom. Yeah, can, 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 can. Bole, 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 bole. Bole, bole, bole. Just hold on tight, though. It's heavy, mom. Oh, it's heavy. Heavy. Oh. Straight, 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 one thing. Ah, straight. Okay, okay. Got it, got it. Strong. Strong. Good job, Dan. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Every <laughs> morning. So I think today is just a showcase. And they're just putting on an exhibition with their uh, traditional outfits to show people the nature of the traditional game. But in the end, it could be up to two hours would be a good spin. So I don't think they'll wait today for the full two hours, but uh, they're just showcasing the traditional game and teaching some youngsters. Okay, so mom, tell me your final review, final impression, meeting your pen pal after three years of texting. Yes, I think we were texting for three years at least. 
one or two. It, it, I don't know exactly when we started after when you went there to sure. her house, but it was it was wonderful. Uh, <laughs> that's one of the reasons why we came to Malaysia is I wanted to meet Crystal and all the other people that were so kind to you and say thank thank you. Very nice. Is that your first international Makes me friend? Cry. Oh, don't cry over your friend. I know. Mom. It's a good thing. It, it's a good thing. It, it was a very happy moment for me. Oh, that's It's nice. like we were, we've known each other for years, and we haven't, obviously. It was very special. It mm. was very special. Her and her husband are very kind, loving people. Fantastic. It was, it was great. There you have it, everybody. It was good, great. Good job, Mom. I'm glad to share that moment with you. Yeah, it was it was great. It was very nice. All right, thanks for watching our video, everybody, and I will end it on this note. Whoo, man, it's hot out here. <laughs>